Hey everybody, it's Jochen Hayden, and I'm back with the Helsin vs. Hayden campaign. This is my Scenario 2 campaign with him, and it's February 11th, 1942. Okay, grab the base in the Philippines by proximity. Alright, well, we definitely know where his uh, his subs are at, but this is actually kind of a good thing. We're dragging his subs south, away from Fiji, which is where I really want them. Okay, no night bombing. By the way, uh, if you're watching this today, Tuesday, December 19th, uh, it's my birthday today. I'm 39 years old, so happy birthday to me. All right, we are landing on Funafuti in the Ellis Islands. And Niue, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Niue, just grabbing a couple more bases. Oh, Cocos Islands, we're landing there as well. I figured I should secure this while I have the time. So we're still capping bases here. All right, doesn't look like we're going to have any more intercepts of any allied carriers this turn. I don't know where the Yorktown went to after we put a torpedo into it, but that's okay. I was assuming that it was going to head north towards Bombay and not continue down towards Chungking after that. Oh, mission canceled. You don't say. All right. So we're sweeping over Townsville today because I was hoping to do a little bombing here. I was kind of hoping that we could catch some of his fighters up, but he's not taking the bait. Okay, sweeping over Chungking or Kung, Kung Chang, Kung Chang, because we're attacking here today. I'm hoping this is a big attack for me. All right, so here come the sweeps again. Guys, we know he's after these. So my troops are about to enter Hyderabad, and he's going to try to stop us. So he's sweeping out of Hyderabad. Um, and I can expect some bombers coming in with that too. All right, so I'm bombing ground troops on Townsville. Let's see if we get out of that. Mm, oh. Okay, well, now I see. <coughs> Sorry. I see what he's got going on here. So a lot of base forces here. Look at that. So he's moved quite a bit of base forces up to Townsville, which is telling me um, he may be looking to relocate aircraft for a major air offensive. So I guess that's good intel to have. Okay, so we're hitting we're hitting Lashio here. I'm kind of feeling it out. See what we got here. Pretty lackluster hits. Um, heavy rain. That's not particularly good for this many bombers. We're coming in at 10,000 feet because I'm not entirely sure what kind of flak he's got there. So, okay. And hitting um, Bandung again. Supply hits are definitely want because we need to bleed that supply out of this place. Cool. Bad weather all over the place. Supply hits, so definitely good. All right, and these are going to be ground attacks. I don't expect them to do too much damage, but I want to try to get some disruption on the enemy troops there. And that's actually not too bad. This is mountainous terrain, but I'll take that. Putting some putting some hurt on these cores is good for disruption. So 
So as you can see, we're hitting it with every bomber I possibly can. Yeah, yeah, look at that. That's the disruption that I'm looking to get here. Yep, that's going to help us on our ground attack today. No supply hits, unfortunately. I wonder if that means he's got no supply to hit. That could be something. More bombers coming in a Kung Chan because I really want this place, man. I'm throwing everything at it today. Yeah, and we've hit these guys quite a bit. I'm expecting some good disruption. Hopefully that's enough to carry the base. Yeah, we put a lot of good hurting on that place. I'm hoping that's enough. All right, and I'm bombing this guy here. I just want to see what it was. So this is an army HQ. Nothing to be worried about. <coughs> Still getting over this flu. <coughs> Supply hits at Baton. Hmm. I wonder why that is. I wonder if he's out of supply. Wouldn't that be cool? Still got bombers sitting, Kung Chang. We put a lot of disruption on these ground troops here. I'm hoping it's enough. All right, more sweeps out of Hyderabad. You know the B-17s are coming. There they are. Look at that. Let's see if my AA can do something to these guys. Oh, we're hurting them. Look at that, guys. Excellent. Minimal disruption, guys. Look, uh, what kind of terrain is this? So these B-17s did jack to us. Now, they did hit my guys, and they're going to slow them down. But the losses are, like, minuscule. That's a lot of bombers to waste. I like that. Okay. And we know they're coming out of Bombay. I'm sure there'll be more. B-17Ds. Nothing. That was a pretty uh, uninspiring attack there, and I like that. It gives me some hope for the future there. Okay, AM face in the books, not bad at all. Um, we definitely weathered the storm with the B-17s. We also got some pretty decent um, pretty decent hits on Kung Chang on the ground troops there. I think that might be enough to carry the place. Eh, more canceled missions, of course, because that's, yeah, that's how it goes for me. Okay, my last chance to stop these troops before they leave the hex. Hopefully that's enough. Okay, that's it. That's all he could come up with was that crappy little attack on 
all my troops going into Hyderabad, so that's good. Happy birthday to me. Here we go. Land combat. Big day for me. Looks like we were able to actually stop and engage these guys. Hopefully we can kill one of these units or, or something. Dang it. Man, they just keep getting away. Man, I think I'm done chasing these guys. It's just... Well, on second thought. Hey, that's a lot of destroyed squads, isn't it? Ah, heck with it. I guess we'll keep chasing them. Why not? Keep bleeding them dry. I'll take these points. All right, well, I would love to have killed a unit, but I'll just keep bleeding them dry if that's what I got to do. Okay. This should be open and shut. This partisan cleanup activity. And that unit is destroyed. All right, guys, big attack here. Uh, what do you think? Are we going to carry it today? We're hitting them with over 2,000 AV. Our bombers had a really good attack. What do you think? Can we dislodge them? Let's find out right now. Let's run it. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Come on, guys. Let's take it today. Oh, yeah! Yeah! All right. Man, that's awesome. Oh, he's in trouble now, man. We blew right through that thing. Okay, a lot of disablements, but we can recover those. But he can't recover this. That's great. And awesome. We drove them north up towards Lancha, which means... These troops are cut off from getting south towards Chungking for a while. So now we can just start driving these guys like cattle up the road here with minimal effort because we've basically gutted the uh, the combat strength there. So this is really, really good. Kung Chang, man. We got it, man. That Lancia oil and fuel is done. <coughs> All right. Cocos Island. Oh! Oh! What did we get here? Did you see that? There was a ship that was there that got scuttled. He just lost a ship here. Something was in port. Canopus. AG Canopus was scuttled in port. Why would he leave it in there? Okay. Funafuti. Might as well take it while we can, right? Another base for us. And I have a paratroop unit going in here at Warangal. And I'll explain why here in just a minute. That's cool. Just uh, connecting dots here. So that's really good. Okay. Taking this base here in the Tonga Islands. Cool. Guys, what? wait. Wiped out by a tree. What? Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened here? Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Man, something bad just happened at Hyderabad. I don't really understand what that was. Some units got messed up or something. Hmm. That's not good. 
Okay, looks like we got a new air unit there. Hmm. What the heck happened in India? Like, why? What? What the heck? Okay, well, tell you what. We got a lot to talk about. We'll get to that. Okay, well, we're back with this turn. Let's go ahead and look at the numbers first. We'll start with aircraft losses for today. I expected these to be a little high for us because we had a lot of stuff to do. So, eight losses for us, three for him. Uh, we lost three Anns, a Topsy, Sonya. These are all acceptable losses for me today because I really needed to do these things. A lot of this were unavoidable. He lost a PBY-5, a Hudson 3LR, and a Hudson 1. Fine with me. Okay. Of those eight aircraft, we only lost two killed pilots. That's not bad. Pilot replacement pools. We'll take a look at the wounded pilots we got. All right. So Ishimura. Well, wait. We need to go. It is group. Okay. Ishimura. We're going to transfer to reserve. This guy to reserve. All right, and then looking at the reserve pilots, getting a few of these guys back. Still holding out for some of the rest of these wounded guys, but it doesn't look like we're going to get them. <clears throat> okay, ship sunk last turn. This was a little bit of an unexpected surprise. The Canopus, which is a small AG, which I'm assuming was damaged at some point during the opening stages. He moved it to Cocos Islands, which is in the... Indian Ocean, and we were able to sink it when we captured that, so that's a freebie. All right, we didn't lose any ships last turn. Unfortunately for us, we didn't have a great day on the ground. We lost 12 points on Army loss points, and I'll explain why in just a minute. He lost 55. No strategic bombing for this turn. Overall, we gained 219 points. And we have increased our win ratio to 3.056. So another high watermark for our campaign. So we'll talk about three areas on the map today. And we'll start with Hyderabad where we lost an AA regiment. And here's how I know we did. Um, we saw a message that one was lost due to attrition. And when we go back to Combat Reporter, we see that 16th AA regiment was wiped out or destroyed near Hyderabad. And if I go down here to destroyed ground units, um, you can see these are two. Oh, well, we have two now. What's the, what's the other one? Well, I want them both back. So we will... Let's see here. What's the button I need to right click? Right click to reactivate these guys. And right click to reactivate these guys. So we're going to get both those back. So where it was lost was here. And here's what happened. Let me show you. <clears throat> the I had some AA units and a core headquarters and the infantry divisions moving towards Hyderabad. But his bombing basically knocked some of my units into move mode and some of them into and some didn't go into move mode. Sorry. Some were in move mode and they got knocked into combat, which slowed them down, while others stayed in move mode. So basically, three AA units and the core headquarters stayed in move mode the entire time and got into Hyderabad first. And the infantry units are lagging behind because they've been getting bombed. As you can see, the disruption levels there. So that slowed them down which means that the AA regiments got into here first and for some reason th the attrition mechanic came into play which I don't understand because he didn't attack us yet we just barely got into the hex's turn but already they're being attrited so two of them were kicked out which I've never seen happen before I don't get that right two AA regiments were kicked out entirely the core headquarters is fine next turn all these guys 
will get back in except for these guys which now have to start all over again moving back in this is a weird mechanic and I don't understand how a unit can be attrited just moving into a hex on the first turn that it gets there without even being attacked so we lost that AA regiment but you know it's not the end of the world what did work out was that I did a paratroop landing here and the reason being is I'm anticipating taking Hyderabad in about two turns right and as soon as we do, we're going to get a hailstorm of aircraft bombing the heck out of this place the second we take it. So what I've already done was I've primed a number of engineer units from Calcutta and here to move via strat move mode this way and this base is the dot that connects the rail line to Hyderabad so second we take this base I'm gonna flood this place with engineer units and move a ton of aircraft in here I'm talking 150 plus fighters so we can you know counterattack and, and hold this base and I'll have aviation support engineer support flowing in on these rail lines and this base was key to connecting the dots here so I took it in anticipation of uh, taking this base and wanting to strap move stuff into here quickly. So um, that's what we're going to do. That worked out pretty good. Uh, the next area I want to talk about is here. And I've already mentioned it previously. But we have a substantial amount of troops in Lashio now. Okay. Almost 850 AV with another 200... 50 coming in and then we are going to initiate bombardments this turn <coughs> or next turn we're going to start wearing this guy down and burning up his supply we're going to start bombing from Chiang Mai I've already got a couple Sally units relocated here and we're just going to shuttle bombard and attack this place every day until we drive these guys out of here and then we slowly keep working our way through the mountains we're going to work our way into China from this angle. So getting in here now is great. I also have armor unit working their way this way. And we'll meet in Lashio. Clear all the stuff up along the way. Alright. And lastly, let's talk about China. We had a really good day. So I've been... I took a... I took about a month to get about 2,000 AV worth of troops into Kungcheng because this base is critical to continuing to cut the flow of fuel from Lanchow into Chongqing, right? Uh, every hex, every base that I control along this road makes it harder for the fuel to flow to Chongqing to run the heavy industry there. And this basically is going to more or less seal the deal. And the nice thing here is that we have two options. I can continue pressing up this way towards La up to Lanchow and up the road and I can send a lot of these forces down and we can start working our way through these passes until we get into this hex here where we're going to be able to overwhelm him once that's done we start pushing our way in to, to Kianco and then I would say within a month or two we'll be in Kianco and we can link up with our troops that are coming down this way kind of form up down this way and make our, our final push on Chongqing I estimate having three to 4,000 AV of Japanese troops in Chongqing by April at the rate that we're going now. I think the dominoes are really going to start falling quickly in China now that we've uh, basically broken through here. We're going to take Lanchow quickly, neutralize all these bases up here because he's got basically nothing. Look at that. Look at all these points that are up there. 600 points there. Each one of these bases is, is worth 20. There's oil up here. I mean, guys, this is this is some good stuff. We're looking at about a thousand points up here, all said and done. And I only really need a division and a half to take out the rest of the Chinese troops that are north of Lanchow because he's got nothing left. He's already brought it all down. We defeated this huge stack here and they're gutted. And from this point, it's just a matter of mopping up and cleaning up, and it won't be hard at all. So I'm looking forward to what we got going up here right now. We broke through. And now we can start turning the bulk of these troops down and working our way back through here. So, big day in China. I'm really excited about that. So, 
Um, that's basically it for the, the action areas I want to talk about on this turn. Uh, real quick, though, I will give you an update on what we're doing with industry and all that stuff. So let's go through that real quick since we haven't done it in a while. Uh, let's take a look at our R&D for aircraft. Uh, nothing super exciting happening here. Slowly coming along on a lot of this stuff. Okay. You guys might be able to get a good look at what we got here anyway. So Slowly but surely working our way through some of these factories here. Okay, uh, looking at the aircraft production, uh, aircraft production is going really good. We have 22 zeros in the pool and building up at least three to four daily. Uh, Jake's, we're building up about three a day. Oscars, we have 45 in the pool. So that's yet another uh, Nate squadron that we can convert into Oscars. So I'll probably grab one of them out of Port Arthur and start flying it over towards India because that's where we're going to need it. So good, another Oscar unit that we can convert. And we're building 150 um, Oscars a month. So we're making almost five of these a day. Okay, uh, let's take a look at our reinforcement schedule that we got going on. And we'll start with um, aircraft replacements. So... Here's what we got in the next 20 days. We have an Emily unit coming aboard. We have another Ida unit that we're going to be able to use for training. A Sony unit for training. Um, looks like we're going to get another CS coming up on board here with some more seaplanes, a few subs, and two more Mavis units. That's nice. Two Mavis units coming in at Osaka. Ooh, 17 days. We also get a fully equipped Helen unit. That'll be great. I bet you these guys will be great for doing some uh, ASW work right now. Uh, we'll also get our first set of Nicks, which is going to be great. Fully equipped Nick squadron. These are great fighter bombers and also bomber killers. So I'll, you can bet I'll be sending these guys to India right away. And I got plenty of pilots trained up for that. So good stuff, man. Looking forward to aircraft reinforcements in the next 20 turns. Uh, ground reinforcement. We'll take a look at that. We have five Naval Guard units coming in at Tokyo, and I have uses for these. I got a, I got a lot of islands that I need to reinforce. I can also use these guys for garrison duty in India, so maybe a couple of these can go to India. The rest I'll send out to South Pacific to reinforce. Naval Construction Battalion, a base force of Saigon. Also, the 6th Guard Division coming aboard in three days at Camran Bay. That's actually, I'm glad I looked at that because I need to start uh, making arrangements to get these guys transported. <coughs> Excuse me. So this guards division will probably send to India because I need some reinforcements there. Or maybe we can use it for something else. I have an idea. In, okay, another Singapore detachment, another naval construction. In 14 days, we get Two garrison units, which I can send to India, and a guards regiment, which I have a plan for that as well. Okay, 17 days. Looks like we're going to get an army headquarters, a couple of naval construction, and then also a guards cavalry regiment, which has tanks in it. So, yeah, good. Good reinforcements on the ground coming in soon. We got a lot of stuff. This is good. Okay. The last thing I'll show you is my ship um, production. I like to use Tracker for this because I think I like the way it lays it out better. So here's what we got coming in over here for Tracker. We have a bunch of these uh, landing barges that I'm building up. Looks like we're getting an AMC. I guess I forgot to stop that one, but that's okay. Uh, these are going to be in the next couple days. On the 22nd, we're going to get a new Yugumo class destroyer. On the 24th, we're going to get a new uh, B-1 type submarine. That's a float plane. We're going to have a another AO and a Nishin, which is a seaplane tender, cruiser seaplane, on the 27th. A couple days after that, two more submarines. And the next major ship that we're going to get here... 
that we really need is a Junio. That comes online on the 19th of March. And I might look to re... Well, there's no point in really accelerating it at this point, so... But yeah, Junio on the 19th of March, and that'll be nice to have another carrier that I can add to Keto Butai, because it has a lot of aircraft capacity in its own right. What is it, 53? I wouldn't mind adding another 53 aircraft to uh, Keto Butai. And this definitely has the speed to keep up. Yeah, I like that. So there you go. Uh, those are my reinforcements, and that's my turn. If you guys have any questions or you want to see anything else, please post your comments here on YouTube or come over to my Discord uh, server. I got a channel there where we can discuss all that stuff. So in the meantime, thank you so much for watching this, guys, and I will catch you on the next one.